Like, would you just be at the stop stop? Oh no. I went to put on more product and look at my finger. You see the pilling, all those pieces, particles? That means that the product is curling up. Oh. What up, what gone? It's been a while. I, it's a problem. We're gonna fix that. It's me, Minat Dubia, and here we are with another video outside of the weekly vlogs, which if you're not already watching, make sure you are. Okay, on my channel, every Sunday I upload a vlog. Okay, in this video, we are going to be trying a lot of new products, which I'm very excited about. We've got Makeup Forever, Urban Decay, Prime Beauty, Sigma Beauty, Juvia's Place, MAC Cosmetics, okay? We've got Lawless Cosmetics from Sephora. So I am, I'm thrilled. I really am. Anyway, make sure you're subscribed. Like, I don't understand that. I just want you to be <laughs> Just subscribe, like it's very simple, you know? It'll help my channel, it's fantastic, I love it. If you're loving any aspect of the video, give it a thumbs up, okay? If you're not already subscribed to my text community, make sure you sign up, link is below. We gonna do a giveaway in the video. You gotta be in the community to win the giveaway, okay? Other than that, let's just do it, okay? Let's see, first I'm gonna pull back this wig and it's the Freedom Lace 202. I'll link her below in case you want an Amazon synthetic blend. Love the get up and go of it. I'm gonna treat her gently. Don't get upset when she starts to shed. She's fake. <laughs> okay, so we know we need to prime the lips. I don't know what's going on with this e.l.f. Cosmetics lip primer, which is my favorite. Where is it? Where you at? Why are you doing that to me? We're not doing this today. Come out from hiding. Okay, this is lock on lip primer. I don't know what's going on with it. Does that mean if you want to discontinue this? Because if you were, you could have called me. You know what I'm saying? You could have emailed me and sent me a message. Let me know to stock up even further because you were going to discontinue one of my favorite items from e.l.f. That's a problem for me. You feel what I'm saying? I do have a few in the stash, but it ain't that many <laughs> to last me a lifetime. <laughs> So looks like I need to venture perhaps into the Anastasia one or the Mac, which was my tried and true for a minute when I worked at Mac and when I was a freelancer. I lived by the Mac Prep and Prime Lip Primer. It's just 20 something dollars, whereas this one is like $4, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now, I do have an Urban Decay face primer. This is the All Nighter. Don't you just love my accent? Like, isn't it fantastic? Doesn't it make you wanna smile? I'm sure it makes you laugh and smile. And if you talk just like me, I'm sure it makes your heart palpitate, I know. I know that it does. Okay, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Long Wear Foundation Grip, okay? Now, normally the primers are formulated to work best with the brand's foundation. So, we are going to be trying out these. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Wow, okay, we're gonna be hydrated today. For any of you who have mature skin and or dry skin, or just you're young and you like, you like to be hydrated, this is gonna be for you, you're gonna want the hydration okay this video is for you it's not for me <laughs> I don't like hydration but here we are so this is a medium coverage up to 24 hour wear I remember watching a video with Jackie Ina where she wore her foundation and her whole makeup face for 24 hours and I was like oh no she didn't but she did I've been curious to do something like that I don't have it in the plans but I, I want to try that out maybe I've done I've done a long time like from flying you know when you fly from at like five in the morning and then you don't go to bed till like nine pretty long time to wear a foundation this is the color 81d I'm gonna swatch and see what's going on this might yeah this is nice and neutral i mean for medium coverage no that's not gonna work if it were sheer perhaps but if we're gonna get medium coverage out of that i'm gonna be looking light so this is 90 ultra deep let's see what 90 ultra deep talking about oh yeah we're gonna go with 90 ultra deep because then the other option is 80 deep let's look at 80 deep wipe my finger off so that we're not transferring and mixing anything okay this is 80 deep and I know it's not my color, but I just want to show you. Look at 80 deep. All right, now these are squeeze out tubes, so they're not contaminated. I do want to give them away. So what I want you to do is, if either of these colors match you, I want you to comment below, giveaway, and then the color. So like you would say, giveaway 80 deep, giveaway 81 deep, right? And I'll know, first one to do it, I'm gonna ask you to send me your information and then you won't get the foundation, praise his name. Alrighty, here goes the face primer, my, my, my. You know, I'll be into the, you know, I'll be into the matte primers, but we gonna see how this, oh my God. The primer already just looks like a lotion. 
happened. Like it's already giving me, we are so hydrated. We like to drink water. We have youthful skin. Like it is not giving me anything that I want. <laughs> and y'all who think that I complain in the videos, you are you are watching the wrong video. Go watch somebody else. That's my sense of humor, okay? My sense of humor, my commentary. If it ain't flowing your boat or finding your loss from Mo, you can go and change the channel. You see what I'm saying? If y'all, if you're watching on the TV, you can change the channel. It's okay. <laughs> Dang, this is like, what you mean long wear foundation grip? This feels like lotion. Oh, bless his name. We're here, so I'm going to put it on. I'm patting in because you know I've done my skincare already and I don't want any pilling to happen when the products just crumble and all together and don't look right together. I don't want that to happen, so that's why I'm doing, I'm putting it on and then patting. My Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. I would still advise that you do your skincare prior to putting this on. I wouldn't just bank on this and say, oh, it's so hot hydrating let me just put this on and not anything else no please do your skincare beforehand including your spf because this is not an spf this is a face primer and i did my skincare routine 30 minutes ago so my my products have absorbed although you still saw intense hydration which is great like who doesn't want to be hydrated yo oh man did i take too much <laughs> Okay, do and key. Wow. Okay. I already know that it's gonna go in a giveaway, and it's a it's a pump tube as well, so it's very sanitary. This gonna also go in a giveaway. Y'all want that? How much, girl? Down below in the comments. <laughs> okay, so there are 12 shades in this Urban Decay Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. What? It's a tinted foundation, okay? And we already said that it is long wearing. It's got mavula oil. It's great for hydrated skin, medium coverage, glowy finish. It's a radiant finish, medium coverage foundation. 85% of consumers after seven days said that their skin looked glowy and fresh all day. 100% hmm. of users said that they had improved skin hydration after 24 hours. Wow. I don't want hydration, but this is great if you do. <laughs> this is fantastic if you are looking for hydration. Apply the formula with your fingers. Blend outward from the center of your face to build coverage. For extra coverage, add more product and diffuse with a brush. A little goes a long way. For an extra sheer glow and added staying power, mix with the all-nighter face primer. Oh God. So... <laughs> So the all-nighter primer that I just used is going to give me an extra sheer glow. Wow, and added staying power. Now, let me tell you, I do feel tacky, which is nice. So I said it felt like skincare, right? But it does feel tacky. So, you know, like that 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 gives me a different feel for it. Maybe like the Hydro Grip, although I haven't even tried that, I have it. Okie dokie. So we're using our fingers to apply foundation. I've never in my life done this before. So let's try this together. Have you ever used your fingers to apply foundation? I want you to let me know. Okay, 90 Ultra Deep, here we go. Put her on a put her on the fingers, you know. Oh, I mean, I guess you pat. Do you do you pat? Do you wipe? That looks good on camera, but I, don't know. I mean, I guess this is good for those of you who do your makeup like on the go, you know, like really quickly, kind of. Some of you haphazardly. <laughs> I mean, although I'm wiping, it is giving me coverage. It feels like I'm putting on lotion. I know they said pat toward the outward motion, but I'm really just winging this right now. I've never done this before in my life, so like what? I mean, yeah, I see the medium coverage. I can still see a blemish right here. Like, would you just be at the stop stop? Oh no. I went to put on more product and look at my finger. You see the pilling, all those pieces, particles? That means that the product is curling up. Oh. <laughs> Do you see right here? This, there's, oh. There's clumpiness. There's a little bit of a clump right there. You can't tell me that it's because I used too much primer. Oh yeah. Oh, do you see that? It's all clumping up together. Ooh, that's why I don't do this. All right, I've cleaned my hand. It's gotta be the primer. I can't imagine that it's this that's doing that. And I also can't imagine that, it's, that I took too much. Like. Let me take this brush. Let's just, I don't know if I should wipe. Will wiping help it blend? Maybe I can salvage this. Let's see. Now I'm just patting it in to blend instead of wiping. I'm trying to avoid more chaos. You can still see the blemish on the middle of my chin, but yeah, this is medium coverage. Oh, what is all this? 
Look at that. <laughs> I just wiped my chin and look. <laughs> Did you see what just happened? But wait, I didn't bring the primer to the side of my face, did I? All right, this side is okay. I'm going to just take a little more of the product, just a little, to apply to this side. I may, it looks like I may have gotten off the clumpy, whatever that was, on the side of my cheek. We're gonna salvage this look, cause I ain't about to go do my skincare all over again and come see and wait for that stuff to absorb before I come and finish it. But I can't, I can't be doing that. <laughs> You're probably like, I don't want that primer. <laughs> If you want to try it on you, maybe it'll work better, you know? People's skin be different and stuff. Okay, here's the forehead. You know what I'm learning is we do we do really have to give some of this stuff a shot for ourselves because it may not do for you what it did for me. We really do just need to try things our own. Sometimes, if you have the money to do that. If you don't have the money anyways, girl, get what you know, get what you trust is not going to play you. But if you have the money and you want to do a little bit of experimentation, you know, you want to do a little science project, go for it. All right, it's looking good. No issues on the forehead, so thank God for that. My nose somehow always doesn't get enough foundation. I guess I'm just wiping it too hard. I don't know. So now I'm just patting it all in. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is the Morphe E63 brush that came with the Makeup Shayla collaboration foundation. All right, now we look like something. We, we were able to avert the catastrophe. We were able to do that, which is great. I'm gonna keep her <laughs> because I'm gonna try her out another time without the primer. Oh my goodness. So I have two concealers from Givenchy, which I appreciate from PR. I appreciate that. I just, I've been holding on to these for a minute because I just feel like they ain't gonna work. And the only reason why I say that is because they don't look light enough. Like, gosh. <laughs> But let's just see, let's confirm, okay? These are the Tante Couture Eyewear Concealers. Just fun say, okay? This is color 42, this is color 44. Let's just see it, you know? Let's just go ahead and see it. I'm gonna start off with 44 and then use 42 if 44 ain't light enough. Let's just do it like we gonna build into it if we need to. Nice applicator, nice and big, that's nice. And a lot seems to come out. Let's, yep, yep, yep. I can tell by looking at the container what it's gonna be. And it's not light enough. This is a very, very mediocre lightness. Not that the product is mediocre, the color for me. And what I like, yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> You might think it looks light, but it's not. This is 42. Oh no, 42 is barely lighter than the 40. Ooh. Okay, well, it looks like today we're doing a very natural type of concealer and foundation look. Nothing too overly light. It looks like is what we're going for today, which is not my baseline, but when you try new products, it really does force you to do things you don't wanna do. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like I'm I'm not doing anything. It's like when I tried the lip bar concealers. Nice finish, nice concealers. The color was just wrong. And this color is just wrong for me. I know that it has given me some kind of lightness, but it is not anywhere close to what I like on my face. We're gonna continue with it because we're here, all right? The finish of this concealer is really nice. So I do have to say that. If you ever wanted to give this Givenchy concealer a try, go for it if you're my skin tone and you use me as a color reference this is not my use is it light yeah but once you blend it in it's not as light as i would need it to be this is just the color 42 by itself i mean it looks beautiful but i know on the camera it looks like it's light what's the big deal it's just if you know me and you know the way that i do my makeup this is not light enough like it's not even really gonna highlight under my cheek Ugh, on the camera it looks like it but it's really not <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something different than what you see. And I understand that. Blends in the forehead now. And these sponges are from Amazon. I'll link them below. If you're interested in these at all. Five pack for $8. Yeah. This is a subtle highlight. This is like, I'm doing my makeup, but I don't want to do too much. Whereas when I, myself, Minna, when I do my makeup, I, I want to do too much. Like I want that. <laughs> it's actually my intention. Okay. Wow. Okay, and now for powder, let's see. Oh my gosh, so 
I did a video, I'm so irritated. I don't know what happened to the latter part of the footage, but I cannot find the latter part of that footage. It was a testing new products YouTube video. I don't know where it's at. I was editing it and I got to a point and I was like, wait a minute, this ain't the, this ain't the full footage. Where's it at? Cannot find it. And in that video, I tried the new Tatcha Silk Powder, the Silk Powder in the Radiant Translucent. And I was very, unhappy with the way it looked. I wanted to try it again on camera to show you and see if I felt differently about it. And I wanna do that now, but I also wanna use a powder that's gonna give me some yellow brightening under the eye because this color is just not doing it for me. So I'm gonna use that silk powder another time to show you what's going on with it and see if it still does the same thing, if she's still acting the same. But right now I need some golden, some lightness, some something under the eye. So I'm going to use loose powders from Prime Beauty. These were sent to me, so thank you, Prime Beauty. I have Golden Gal on the bottom and Bronze Babe. Now I don't know how this is gonna look, you know, and we can't fault it, oh no. Already looking at the inside, it ain't gonna give me the yellow that I need. Let me open it up. I need something yellow. I'ma just divert to my LYS Beauty Ambition, that color, because this is a little bit neutral. I'll just use Golden Gal another time. Bronze Babe is beautiful, but this is too dark for my face. And I don't do loose powders for contour. So this is gonna be a giveaway. I hate that I already took the, the sticker off, but I didn't use it, okay? So there you have it. Let me just go with LYS Ambition. The brush I'm using to apply it under my eye is the Sigma Soft Blend 60 brush. Hopefully this gives me a little bit more yellow, brightness under my eye, or not even just under the eye, in all of the areas that I highlighted, I need the brightness. Make sure that you take your sponge and smooth out any harsh lines. Make this scary face. You don't wanna have any harsh lines when you're gonna set it with your powder because you want the powder to go in between the lines, okay? You don't want the powder to go on either side of your heart of your lines and then your creasing is gonna just be more prominent. So make this face, okay? It's only for a minute. And then set your under eye. It's a little bit light, but I know the difference when I've set a concealer that is already light versus I've set a concealer that is not light enough. I know the difference of what that looks like, but I'm sure you're gonna say that this looks great. <laughs> I just know you. And I'm just tapping it in. It's a pressed powder, very soft. If you're new to highlight or new to setting your face, this is a great one because it's not loose. Loose powder takes some technique. You do need to know what you're doing when you're managing loose powder. This is so soft, although it looks light, right? It's so soft and airy, which I love. And it just, it's easy to use even if you are a beginner. All right, there goes some lightness, girl. It's a little something, you know what I'm saying? It's going to, it's going to. She gave us a little bit of a rest. Rescue. I can still see this blemish. This is a medium foundation. Alrighty, now we need to set the face. It's been a while since I've used my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color Deep. So let me use that. This is a nice airy airbrush type powder to put over this soft look. And this is a Juvia's Place, but I need to wash it. It's angled because of how I'm using it. That's not how it actually is. It's a pouch with one powder brush. Juvia's Place, okay? I'm not going over the perimeter of my face because I'm gonna put my contour there. This whole thing just made my face look really light. <laughs> Do you see that foot in the whole entire world? I feel like the, the foundation is too light for me because even with these, like I've used this powder in the past and when I put it on, I didn't look this light. I look really light right now. Like so light that I feel crazy. <laughs> Like I shouldn't even be wearing this color. I wonder if it's, going, if it's going to oxidize because I'm feeling a little bit concerned. Okay, now Prime Beauty bronzer called Chocolate Liddy. This color is deep. And honestly, this is the only one that they sent me. This is looking a little bit too deep for the kid. I mean, it's so deep that it has a hint of purple in it. You'll notice that with dark colors. For instance, I have the Juvia's Place bronzers, which are so beautiful. I kept, and I'm giving away the other one, I kept the deep dark one, which is right here. And you'll notice that there's some purple in the bottom color. And you'll see the same thing here dark colors that are bronzers for deep, deep, deep skin tones will have a hint of purple in them. This looks like a warm purple, whereas this one looks very neutral purple. If you see what I'm saying, if you know, you know. I don't need that deep of a color. I don't. This is gonna go in a giveaway as well. Comment below and let me know if the Prime Beauty bronzer would fit you, if you think it would fit you, okay? Comment Prime Beauty bronzer giveaway. Boom. Okie dokie. So we gonna go with, I wanna try this 
color because it's got a red undertone. I do believe that this will bronze me, not contour. Contour should be neutral. I think that will bronze me. Ooh, these are light. I was gonna try to use these. This looks like a blush. Like these two look like blushes to me. I'm gonna hang on to them though. But then because, see, I'm, 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 I'm talking you through my thought process because I want you to learn something. Because my face looks so light, number one, lighter than it should be. And to me, it looks a little bit red. Just a smidge, not a lot. I'm weary about putting this on as a bronzer. For me right now, what my face needs is contour because contour is neutral. Bronzer is going to be red. It's gonna give me warmth. And I don't feel like I need more warmth on my face. I need to shadow it because it looks light. But this one is too purple and this one looks like a blush. I do have the Fenty situation, Thick Mint. I used her for the first time the other day. Okay, so to apply Thick Mint, I'm gonna use my Sephora 59 brush, which is a pro powder brush, but the size of it is perfect for bronzer to really get in this area, okay? At an angle, I'm taking Thick Mint, which I know you're gonna say, well, that's kind of purple too. It is, but it's not as deep, or is it? Hold on, wait, it is deep. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. It looks the same. Okay. Just kidding. I didn't realize that Thick Mint was equally as deep. Let's go ahead and use the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronze in Deep Dark and try this deepest powder contour, which looks purple. I'm going lightly. Okay, you gotta just be light. Whoa, and I'm doing padding motions like this, okay? Ooh, yeah, hello pigment. Tapping off the excess. Make sure this gets into the hairline as well. Ooh, this brush is even good for, for blush too. Mm. I like this brush a lot. She's looking good, you know? Let me go right here a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't have any rashes over here, but do you see that unevenness? What in the world? Maybe I should have tried the first color. Dang it. I'm gonna turn this brush over and try this color up here. It's gonna give me, it looks like a blush. I'm just gonna put it right here. That is pretty as a blush, like literally. That bronzer looks like a blush to me. I'm considering this to be the bronzer, which depending on your skin tone, either of these could be a bronzer, but with my skin tone, this is a bronzer, which can be used as a blush because a bronzer is a warm brown, okay? So depending on what, you, what you're trying to do, you could use your bronzer as a blush. I could use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer as a blush if I wanted to because it has that warmth to it. And then this is the contour. I mean, we just kind of finagled it a little bit. This side looks good. I don't like what's happening on this side. One bit. This is more of the darker color. Get it into your hairline, air it out a little bit. I don't normally go down here, but today I feel like I need to because Lord, I'm washing this off when we're done. <laughs> like I just can't, you know, like it's just like a lot. <laughs> Look at that. The LYS Beauty powder did give me the the highlight under my eye that I want. And with the contour bronzer situation, it offsets. See how it gave me a shadow under here and it further pronounces the highlight. So really you gotta put the look together. It's coming together. I'm just not used to this. It is coming together. We need contour on the forehead a little bit over here. Get that going a little bit. This is this is a lot. This is this is definitely an experience and I know that you're on this roller coaster with me. Thank you for joining this ride. So I like this because this is the side we have the issue with the foundation. So perhaps it's the foundation that's making the side look strange. I can't say that it's this per se. We're gonna keep on trying this for sure. And then the dark color, we're gonna keep as a blush. Like, for sure. Okay, so I do have this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil in the color Natural Black. All right, this is at an angle, which is not my fave at all, but we're gonna brush this up because that's important. These are my brows and I do them how I wanna do them, you know? I'm using the pointy part of it to draw the upward strokes. This color might really work for me.
Okay, now you know I always use the Elf Cosmetics Putty Primer. This is the white one. It's really dry, you know, it's not as moist as the MAC Cosmetics Primer that I like to use, which is called Painterly. But this one is more affordable than Painterly. So that's why I use this a lot more often. It works just as well. It's just really dry. And I should cover it as I blend this in because it's wicked dry. Maybe I need a new one. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I use it all the time. It probably dried out from opening and closing. Look at that little clump right there. You definitely want to make sure you rub that in because it will show when you put your eyeshadow on. I'm going to buy a new one because this is not looking cute. It's going to come together when I do my face. Believe that but it's just not looking too good. I just hate wasting product. I mean, there's a lot in here still. Alrighty, so we're gonna use the Sigma Beauty Ambiance. Ooh, lots of neutrals and golds and things of that nature. I'm gonna use that same brush that I used in my crease. This is from Moda Pro. I got this as a crease brush. I got this in BoxyCharm years ago. I used to use BoxyCharm and I love it. I only stopped doing it because I started getting a lot of PR and there was no point in me buying my own stuff. I still buy my own stuff, but it was no point in me having a monthly subscription when I was getting, and still am, praise the Lord, weekly boxes of PR. I'm gonna use Oasis in the crease, which is brown. I always love to do a reddish brown in the crease, but this color is really pretty. And this palette doesn't have a warm brown. These are kind of neutral looking, but this is a great color. Wow. I'm going very haphazardly because that's just how I apply my crease color, but you may want to take your time. Find the crease in your eye. It's right here between your lid and your brow bone. And I like to blend it out into my brow bone highlight so that there are no harsh lines. Apply a lot of color because look at our eyeshadow primer, looking a little janky. I'm gonna buy a new one, but it still works, see? Cover it up and you're good. Sometimes you can make really affordable products work, but I do think that mine is just dried out. Blending it here, like just feathering it over there. And then I'm gonna take the brush that I used to bronze or contour both and just go right here to further blend that brow bone highlight so that nothing is harsh. So there's my crease color, looking good, looking really, really good. And I chose this brush because of the shape of it. It will get, it, it will just cover a wide area on my face. Let's say I wanted to really get inside my crease. I would take a brush that's more packed in more, you know, like that's this shape or anything like this shape. This is Morphe 503 and I would apply the color right in here in the crease. Notice how I'm stretching my forehead to isolate the crease. Make sure you do that to really make sure that when you're applying your crease color, I did the first one in a haphazard manner spread out. That was on purpose. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker color. That's just a traditional way to do your eyeshadow. Something lighter, warmer to really spread over the area. And then something deeper, a deeper color. This is Sunspot. It's a warmer brown in here and I'm focusing it right inside the crease to really deepen that area up. This is gonna look like a look that I just did two days ago on IG. And I didn't even use this palette. I actually used the Huda Beauty palette, one of them. It's gonna end up looking like that because they both both palettes have these browns and shimmers in them. I took this second brush to diffuse the harsh lines, okay? I'm gonna take Oasis again right here. I want some more warmth right here. I don't like how that's looking, but then I'm also gonna take some more of Sunspot, which is this dark brown, and bring it up here. I like for my contour to meet the front of my brow like that. I just like that look. I don't like for there to be a space between my brow and my contour, the eyeshadow on my contour. All right, now for a lid color to isolate the lid, make this look really beautiful. I can actually make a cut crease depending on how I apply this. Let's see. On the lid, it's great to go with a shimmer shade. I'm gonna do a shimmer shade and then a more neutral shade. Let me show you. Let me put the neutral shade down first. So that neutral shade is going to be Daylily. This is a light tan type color. So let me take that and go right here. Ooh, that is more pigmented than I expected. Hold on. Uh, hi. Wow. Alrighty. I could have put that all over my lid. That is a cute color. Hold on a second. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I like that color. And I'll do the frost in my inner eye. I was not expecting. I like this palette so far. Wow. Oh, yes. It's a peachy light brown color 
ish that is not what i thought was gonna come out i like this so this is a coastal sense eyeshadow brush brcn03 okay i've had this for a minute i have not shopped at coastal sense in a long time i used to shop there for items in my kit when i was a makeup artist really affordable brushes that work and clearly i still have these brushes i've had this brush almost 10 years so it's looking very cut crease ish huh like that as i'm applying it i'm turning my brush okay wow this color is beautiful nice nude look for the girls okay now i want to further emphasize the crease without taking away the cut crease i want to add warmth to my crease because right now to me the crease is too neutral so taking oasis with that smaller more tapered brush and just lightly just like a little it, it's not that obvious but to me it is I could take a different palette, but I want to stick with one palette for you. All right, a little bit more of that brown just to go right here in the crease. And then some more of that brown, which is Sunspot, and going right here to bring it all together. Just lightly right here. It's not giving me the depth that I want in the in the outer crease. So I'm going to take Enrich, which is a more neutral brown. This should be darker, okay? Well, that's looking ashy, not what I wanted at all. Okay, I'm going to just use a black shadow like I normally do to line the top of my eye and let it do what it do. We're gonna just, we gonna just go there. Let me get under my eye. This is Evita Joseph Classic Shader Brush and it's really for the shape of this. Lots of brushes have shapes like this, okay? And I'm gonna take this with the brown color and go under my eye. This is the color Oasis. I need some warmth in these eyes, so what I'm going to do is take the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronze Palette and use this bottom color right here. I already said that this was going to be the blush one for sure because it is very bronzy in a good way for what I'm going to use it for, not for my face. All right, now let's see. I wanna make the under eye darker. So none of these were really doing it for me. Let me take the bronzer, the one that was like a little purplish, cause that's gonna be really deep on me. Put that under my eye. Mm-mm, it's not dark enough. Okay, that's okay. Sometimes it can work with your contour, whatever the contour is, but it's not meant to be that pigmented, which in a, is a good way because it's actually meant for the face, not for the, you know, the contour of the face, not for the eye. You understand what I'm saying, okay? I always take this Maven eyeshadow palette in the color Basic Beat Define is what it says. And let's go and do the eyeliner and then bring it under the eye. And this is the black color that's in the palette. Okay. I was not expecting that. This is by Lawless at Sephora and it's called the One and Done Mascara. Excuse me? Is this gonna take the place of my It Cosmetics superhero? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I've never been this impressed with a mascara on my top lashes. I mean, you know, normally I like for my, my mascaras to be worn in. Like I feel like I after I've used it several times, it's at its peak because it's clumpy, but in a good way. No, this is the first time I've used this and it's clumpy off rip in the way that I like it. I like for it to come on thick. Wow. You can't tell me that doesn't look bomb. I am shocked. I might need to get rid of all the other ones I've been using. Now I am gonna put on lashes because it's just what I do, but oh, this is fantastic. I am shook about this mascara. I literally just threw my superhero in the garbage. <laughs> I mean, it was old, it was old, but like, wow and wow and wow, lawless, lawless. What is going on? What it has done to my under eye, no other mascara that I've tried has done that. I'm just blown away right now. Now, as far as lip is concerned, it's been a minute since I've done something bright. So we are going to go bright right now. I'm looking at the MAC lippies on my counter right here. I wanna do this color, 
But then I'm also looking at this color, you know, a little bit of like coral. This is, yeah, I'm fancy. Ooh, it's like a red, but in a coral kind of way. And then we have, hey, good looking. This is going to give me fuchsia. Ooh, both so gorgeous. What should I do? Pretend like I can hear you. What lip should I do? Comment and let me know. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go with this one. It looks so gorgeous. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm fancy. Oh my goodness. This lip color is the highlight of the look for me. It is the highlight of the entire video for me. Love this lip color. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about this whole entire look. The eyeshadow palette, I wish it had warm colors so I wouldn't call it a favorite. I like it. My favorites are the lip color and the mascara. Wowzers. I want you to comment and let me know what your favorite part was. Again, if you watched the video, then you know what to do about the giveaways. Make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these testing new product type videos. And yeah, I'm glad you're here and thanks so much for watching. Bye.